So this is one of uh, my favorite scenes in Girl Overboard that I'm going to read with Hannah. Okay. My skip to the loo is stopped by the reigning empress of viewage, Chelsea Dillinger. Sirachang! Chelsea sings down the line of girls waiting in the hall for the bathroom. Her brown ringlets bounce. She's waving at me so hard. The curious and the envious turn around as I clump down the stairs. God, what does she want now? I kick myself for not keeping my goggles on to conceal my face. Too late, too late. Girls stare at me with that mixture of awe and envy I've been used to seeing since Buffa hit the big time. Someone in front of me says, Oh my God, do you know who that is? A meaningful pause then. Ethan Chang's kid. My father's name filling in all the blanks about me. I heard her dad makes her ride when, with bodyguards ever since that avalanche. If it weren't for needing a toilet desperately, I had run for the great outdoors and escaped those stairs, especially Chelsea's hungry one. For a time, I hoped that Chelsea and I would be friends, she being the one person who might actually understand my life and all. There, aren't, there just aren't many people who'd understand that having parents perpetually missing on business is better in theory than reality. That was before I knew Chelsea wanted to display me and all nine zeros of my dad's net worth the way her father mounts deer and moose heads in his living room, a trophy for all to admire. Naturally, Chelsea gives up her place in front of the bathroom door to slum it and back with me. You're so lucky, Sarah. This I have to hear, and I brave brunette envy to ask. Because, oh. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> because... Chelsea says, her voice flattening to a single note. Duh. I mean, my parents would never buy a chalet in Whistler just because I was into snowboarding. That almost makes me laugh out loud. Since the chalet in Whistler had everything to do with portfolio diversification, not Syrah gratification. As soon as Buffa realized the Winter Olympics were going to be staged in Vancouver and Whistler, he predicted skyrocketing real estate values. Within a day, Mama pinpointed all the prime neighborhoods. Three months after that, Chalet Chang was signed, sealed, and decorated. Trust me, they didn't buy it for me. My knee twinges as I take another step forward. Thankfully, I must have good bathroom karma because just then a stall door swings open. I swear to God, Chelsea is a half step into my stall before I sigh. A little privacy. The last thing I see before I close the door are the girls behind Chelsea running their eyes down my body, you turning at my hips. Halfway through unsnapping and unzipping, I hear one of them ask, Like, why would she wear boys clothes when she can, be, when she can buy anything she wants? Part of me wants to tell judgmental girl, um, see how these metal walls don't go all the way up to the ceiling or down to the floor? Not soundproof. Part of me wants to demand. So you mean, why aren't I Miss Pretty in hot pink like the rest of you? Because I'm not trolling for boys when I ride. <laughs> wow, that was, <laughs> that was fun. Was that good? That was fun. That was fun. <laughs>